She's ready to go, baby. So the kids are out here ripping around on the go-kart, so if they come flying by or you hear something that sounds like Wah! That's them. But uh just out here doing final run checks on the 55 because we only got a couple weeks before we go to the boaties. There they come. Really need to tighten some stuff up on that thing. But anyway, we're out here just doing a final run check on the 55, making sure we're ready to go for the daggone horizontal hustle. I think we've about got this thing as much done to it as I'm really wanting to do to it. As far as power goes, the thing runs fan freaking fantastic for what it is. If y'all know anything about the 55, you know about what the struggles are that we were trying to go for in making one of these things tick. There's not a lot there to work with unless you take alternate drastic measures. So my take on this whole build was kind of just like Bodie was saying in his. I'm sure there's ways to make these things absolutely freaking fly. Like stupidly fly. But I was going for the average Joe can buy the parts that I put into this. Do this build relatively easy. Do we get more power out of it? Absolutely. But are we going to? Probably not. It's not worth it to me to get any more out of it than what we got. So, it's kind of where we're going to leave it. This is where we're taking it to Atlanta in a couple weeks. And we hope you guys like it. Got Smitty Saw. Going to be coming here. I'm going to be babysitting that thing down to Atlanta. Because Smitty looks like his saw is pretty dang strong. I'm sure he'll be dropping videos about that after the fact. If you've seen his last video, you know that he went through quite a few struggles in order to make his work. Get it right. He's had some blow-ups, some tear-downs, some put-back-togethers, and tear-downs again. So, I think he's got it where he's going to send it now. So, be looking forward to that. Guys, have a great weekend. Have a great upcoming work weekend. Doug, we